There's something about the majestic blue of the Yam. If you were to take a glass and put it into the ocean, it's not blue, it's just clear. It's only when it's in the ocean together with all the other drops of water that it's blue. And the same with the sky. When you see it from afar and you see the whole picture, that's where it's in all of its majestic beauty. And I feel that way about this Michal's Chaver. You can look at this piece, that piece. You look at it worldwide. You look at, it, at every detail of the shear and how it's cheshbined out, and you see it in all its grandeur and all its beauty. When Ravel Yadav first brought this idea to me, I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit skeptical, especially about the Bechinas. And I thought, okay, it'll be nice. I did not realize what an incredible transformation it would engender in me. Of all the teaching that I do, there's nothing that I enjoy more than teaching Halafa Lamaisa, the test that is made for everybody. It's quite complicated. There's nothing to uh, instill fear in 40-year-old in men like a test. I vowed, uh, you know, that I would never take a test again after law school. Baruch Hashem, I've been, I've been zocha to take all the bikinis and pass them. <laughs> When the children see their parents, who are hard workers, legitimately studying for a test, it empowers the children to say, wait a second, if my father can study, I can study. When I was bar mitzvah, I got two sets of Mishnah Brura. Until I joined SCP, I never opened them. And now it's probably the most worn out book on my bookshelf. Smichas Chaver is not just about the participant who shows up to the Shia. Smichas Chaver is about his family. Because when you're on fire, believe it Torah, it's contagious to all of those that are around you. I found that learning halacha in depth really affects every aspect of your life. It definitely enhances it. Every week when I'm coming to my Shabbos table, I can talk with my family about halachot. It's really, really different Shabbos table. It's something that has uplifted and changed the entire aura of everything that we do in the, in the home. This limud literally permeates a home and permeates a mishpacha. One of the guys in Mashir came over to me and he said, you know, for the first time in my life, I don't feel like a spectator in halacha, but I feel like I was kona it. And the truth is, it's the first time anyone has ever expressed this yesod of being kona something. This individual felt, hilchos mukta, it's mine. What I'm amazed about this program is that someone coming off the street who doesn't have any religious background, has not been through the yeshiva system, can really learn with this program. On the other hand, there are those that have been, some of them are, are, have smicha as, as rabbis. We have such a chevra. I mean, we're all really close. It just makes the class that much better. That aspect of being able to learn from A to Z makes the learning come alive. We're learning both the Ashkenazi Puskim as well as this Faradi Puskim. You know what they say, knowledge is power, and it, but it's really true. This program is so powerful because you understand where the halacha comes from and how we get to halacha lemaisa today. You take the Gemara through the Rishonim into the Shulchan Aruch and you see how that applies to our modern world. If we are to talk about the origins and the beginning of Simichas Chaver, it all started with the Brach of Gdoli Yisrael with Hagoon Reb Zalman Nechem Goldberg Zichar Tzadik Levracha, and Lahavdil Ben Chaim Lechaim, Hagoon Rav Shachter Shlita, and Hagoon Arishon Etzion Rav Shlomo Amar. And now we also have the schus of having Hagoon Rav Avigdor Nevensal stand behind the program and sign the certificates that you will be getting in your hands. The fact that the program itself is not only endorsed, but supported by, has the encouragement of Gedola Yisrael. We miss Rav Zalm Nechem is that style, of course, but the Gedola Yisrael who, who put their name behind it and who've been to our community. People feel like Gedolei Torah aren't just someone out there that issues Piskei Halacha. Now I can actually have face-to-face question-answer session. They're people that talk to me. Smich HaSchaver program started in this room about three years ago. And the goal of Smich HaSchaver was to know Halacha well, to ignite our soul on fire with Limit Torah. They see that places all around the world are learning the exact same halachos every week. Whether you're in Yerushalayim, whether you're in London, whether you're in North Woodmere, and anywhere in between, you're learning the same halachos. And it turns into an unbelievable bonding experience. It's changed the way that I've had conversations with people, but to do it on a higher spiritual level. There are people of all ages, and again, that's one of the beauties of it. People who might not socially overlap, 
but the learning has brought them together. They're part of this unit, they're part of this group, they're part of what really is a movement called Smichas Chaver. <laughs> Simichas Chaver is a fantastic journey throughout the halachic process. It's unparalleled in the world. It's something that has halacha lemaisa written all over it. You touch it, you feel it, you see it, you live it. It was actually quite a breath of fresh air. Phenomenal, a billion times over. Life altering. It feels like the chabura, the room is on fire. Don't don't show this part where I'm thinking for a second. Um, the Simichas Chaver program is like an iPhone because it really connects you to, to everything in a very practical way, and it's also addictive. Smichas Chaver is an outstanding success, my favorite part of the week, and one of the most rewarding things I do. How many times did you open your iPhone screen this, uh, today? You don't have to answer. The Smichas Chaver program has really changed my life. Benismach, baby, I saw you do sexual, you've been